There are some things Fortnite wants you to forget. The DaBaby collab, Band Chapter 5 emotes, I could go on, but sometimes the free V-Bucks doesn't erase our memory. One thing Fortnite swept under the rug was hiding in a trailer. You won't notice it at first glance, but years later, an unreleased emote was leaked called the Belly Dance. And right here, you can see Rustler doing it. Maybe it was too provocative, but still not as bad as what Xbox did. The reveal of Peter Griffin was supposed to be a surprise, and with just days to go until Chapter 5, Epic thought they fully got away with it. That's only for the Xbox store to leak the battle pass to everyone, exposing Peter, Solid Snake, and ruining the biggest reveal of all time. Now you might hear that Fortnite is doing very well, with OG being the most successful season in history and Disney investing over a billion dollars in the company. It's nice to see that until you realize it was only a half a year ago that Epic laid off almost a thousand employees, only to do very well months later. Well, the worst part is a day after laying them off, Epic added share the wealth to the item shop. Now that is something they really want you to forget. And they're sweeping weather under the rug too. It's just a basic feature and yet they're acting like it never existed. I mean, when you announce something game changing like tornadoes and you'd expect it to stick around. That's only for them to be deleted after a few weeks. I kind of get tornadoes, but lightning was harmless. But I totally understand why they want us to forget this jam track. When they added Doja Cat and Green Day, there's a bonus song everyone was talking about. Jam track. Yeah, you can spend 500 V-Bucks on something that didn't have album art, and in return, you would get nothing. They were forced to give out refunds, but let's be honest, if you spent money on this, you deserve to lose your V-Bucks. None of us deserve to have moving llamas though. By far one of the most annoying features in Fortnite. These were in the game for years, and it wasn't until the OG season that we got the regular old llamas back. People loved them so much that Epic realized how bad they messed up and reverted them to normal for Chapter 5. Looking back, I don't think they want us to remember that crucial mistake. Speaking of moving around, Chapter 5 did have a huge controversy when Epic switched up the entire movement system. Look, we all know about this no matter how much Fortnite wants you to forget, and yeah, they fixed it, only to secretly nerf movement again in the following update, hoping nobody would notice. Now, luckily, they were able to fix a mistake before it even happened. Epic were making an icon emote for Amigo song, the only problem was it featured DaBaby on it. Just hours before this was supposed to drop, DaBaby said some horrible things on stage, causing Fortnite to delete it from the files in a panic. AM to PM will probably never release. Even if it did, they would have charged 4,000 V-Bucks for it. That award goes to the Rocket League cars. Fortnite wants to make money on rocket racing, so they're selling cars. Except the first impression sucks because they were unaffordable. Epic probably saw that no one was buying these, so they lowered the prices. And most of these should be forgotten because they're embarrassing for Epic. But there's one feature we will always remember. In previous chapters, you were able to pick up a down teammate and launch pad away. It was one of the most useful parts of the whole game, and Epic really thought we wouldn't notice when they removed it. We definitely noticed when the whole game vanished though. During their fight with Apple and Google, Fortnite was deleted from the mobile app stores. When Apple removed it, they got all the attention, while Android users were left with a single tweet. Fortnite is currently unavailable on Google Play. More information will be forthcoming soon. Let's just say it's been four years, and that word soon is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. There is one feature you probably have forgotten about though, and that is exotics. For the first time in their existence, they're nowhere to be found in game. You'd either get them from NPCs or hollow chests, and well, in chapter 5, you won't find them at all. There is a chance they'll return though, unlike the forgotten mode. Fortnite has a history of deleting LTMs without telling anyone, like Battle Lab. The successor was meant to be Creative Royale, and yet it suffered the same fate, secretly vanishing overnight. We won't forget about Augments though, I mean they changed the entire game. Epic can't expect us to pretend they never existed. In fact, new Augments were supposed to be here in time for chapter 5, only for them to remove the entire feature instead. This time around, they finally acknowledged something they deleted, claiming they were reassessing it, but perks must have been too hard to balance or something. Have you forgotten about the time they deleted us? Let me explain. People download a post party to get free rewards, and that's pretty much it. The app wasn't great, let's be honest, and most of us went to uninstall it until you press delete account. Yeah, it turns out this was your Epic Games account, so you could already tell how bad it was. Even those with an account still can't get the Bastille Day cosmetics. These are ready to drop at any moment, but then protests in France turned Sir Burr from an adorable companion to con controversial in seconds. Not the only cosmetic you'll never see. Months ago, Fortnite brought Lewis Hamilton to the Icon series. At the same time, we had a ton of F1 skins in the files. All of this was building to the launch of Rocket Racing. Who would have buy a Red Bull or a Ferrari outfit? Well, none of us apparently, because they were scrapped before we even got a chance to open our wallets. Now, Fortnite removed something in Chapter 5 that no one has even noticed. Last year, we'd explore the map minding our own business until a rift encounter appeared out of nowhere. There was always something to take from these, yet we're almost 
almost in season two and they have vanished from the game. With no words from Epic, it's safe to assume we'll never get them back. And it's best that we just forget about it. And you probably didn't realize how they changed the ammo crates too. Most of us open these, grab everything without looking and move on. But this time around, something is missing. There's no shield potion anymore, making it harder than ever to find heals. Fortnite never mentioned this change or refused to talk about it. So I guess they want us to move on with our lives. But we'll never forget how Among Us made them lose millions of dollars in a single hour. When the back bling released, you could get it for free with the game. Except if you already had the item, they would just give you 600 V-Bucks instead. Yes, a $1 pack gave you that much currency. But this gets worse for Epic. You could get this bundle as many times as you wanted, handing you tens of thousands of V-Bucks for like $60. Ouch. And hey, we should be glad to get the collab in the first place. This whole thing started when Fortnite ripped off Among Us without permission and got a ton of backlash for it. We only forget about that because they all made up in the end. Now, most of us had no idea this outfit existed. It was completed with an entire bundle ready to drop. And okay, looking back, the skin isn't the most hype, but people definitely wanted the glider. Shame we're getting none of them because it's scrapped. Not sure why, but we do know the reason behind Fortnite's most embarrassing update. In chapter three, they forgot to mention a key change in the patch notes, secretly editing the size of Eevee's chest without telling anyone. Obviously people noticed this, so we expected Epic to pretend it was a bug, but shockingly, they were honest about it and said they would revert the change in the next update. They really thought we wouldn't notice. Little did they know, we spent way too much time on this game. When Epic realized this, they decided to troll us. In the files, a quest to touch grass appeared, and it was meant to be a prank, but we all got excited for it. So they got the last laugh when they removed it, making sure none of us would ever touch grass again. At least we could touch water, right? Well, it's not even worth it in chapter five because fishing is so useless now. Thanks to the removal of the pro fishing rod and fun items like the Mighty's Flopper or Mythic Goldfish, there's no real point in doing this. It's like Epic wants us to get bored of it so they can quietly remove the whole feature in a couple of seasons. Just don't say I didn't warn ya. But remember when they tried to lock us out of a Marvel cosmetic for story reasons? In the Endgame LTM, their whole marketing showed fish stick wielding Stormbreaker, and it wasn't until two years later they finally gave it to us. Well, sorta. Turns out Fishstick was banned from using it. Not even Captain America wheeled this thing, and he was actually worthy. Then again, they also promised to save the world would be free, then look how that ended up. Things got really awkward when Fortnite told creators to promote their LEGO icon series. This was supposed to be a huge reveal that you could buy the day after, only for it to be broken. The styles weren't sold until a whole week later. And they also want us to forget the biggest creator mishap involving Mr. Beast. Players criticized this for being split into two separate bundles, which wasn't even the biggest issue. People grinded for hours to win the tournament, and for those who reached the top three, only one of them got a prize. Imagine coming second place and being that close to becoming a millionaire, only to get nothing for your effort. That's gotta suck. Mr. Beast fans are pretty upset, but no one feels as bad as storyline fans right now. In the last couple of chapters, the decisions have been kind of weird, let's be honest. Like when they swap Singularity and Paradigm being the same person, and decide to cast Brie Larson instead, or retconning years of teasers. It got weirder when the Imagine Wolverine had a one-night stand and a pretty graphic comic for a teen game. The comics were also pretty rushed out, causing one artist to draw the devourer as a T-Rex. For storyline fans who like to collect outfits, one of them was harder than ever to obtain. Hudmaster Saber was locked behind an exclusive console bundle, forcing him to spend hundreds of dollars to get it. Someone will never be able to find a game is Columbo, probably the most beloved creature ever added to Fortnite, and Epic killed him off after a few short weeks. Then they tortured us for months about his fate with leaked dance animations, a possible Lego appearance, it was all a lie. Why do they keep removing things we love, like shakedowns. These were so fun and genuinely helpful. Now, if you see a downed enemy, you're just gonna shoot them from far range. But when shakedowns were in the game, you could risk getting close to them for intel. Can anyone answer why Fortnite wants us to forget about this? But I'll admit, I do understand the removal of upgrade benches. Thanks to the brand new weapon mod system, this had to go. Even when the itemized bench was around, no one really used it. Now, one of the most embarrassing things Fortnite has ever swept under the rug is the bear hug glitch. The c mode is meant to be an innocent embrace, but thanks to a crouch glitch, things start rated R extremely quick. Another bug that humiliated Fortnite was the Deku Smash. This item was so broken, they had to remove it for basically the whole duration of the collab. It came back much later, but it felt super out of place. Just like the upcoming Winterfest emotes. It is February right now, and they're about to drop a New Year's Eve celebration dance, along with a snowflake themed emote. A little late for that, Fortnite. Now this video is part two to things that Epic never expected you to try. There's so many ways to break the game, and we made a great video about it. Click on screen right now to check it out. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.